Thanks, Michelle. With Rip Hamilton, Rip, obviously, you got to keep them from getting out in transition. How do you do it? Uh, we got to try to contain this kid. You know, uh, we got to get back at five. You know, uh, everybody got to get back and get back to the paint. How do you guys improve yourselves offensively as well? I don't think we're going to miss as many shots as we missed last game. I think we're all confident in knowing that. And we just got to come out here and just knock them down. All right, Rip, good luck to you tonight. Back to you, Brad. These are fantastic fans here in Detroit, and they are so ready, so pumped, but nothing to cheer about yet. It sort of deflates their thunder sticks, doesn't it? Here's Hamilton inside. That'll wake them up a little bit. And New Jersey right up the backside. And no one's running. I mean, Detroit's got to see if they can get some easy buckets in the open court, too, because if they're just going to live in the half court, they're going to struggle again. Here's Prince against Jefferson. The kick out to Phillips. And now Hamilton with the outside jumper, and Rip Hamilton knocks down his second basket. Williams got one of two. Puts his team back in front by one. Three-point field goals have kept the Pistons in the ball game, and now they're back in the lead. You don't think bad shooting is contagious, do you? There's no question about shooting contagious. If you feel like you got to be the one to step up and hit the shot, because nobody else can. And if everybody feels like that, that's a bad sign. Hamilton got Rodgers in the air, and he got a good shot. Ten for Rip in the quarter. Jason Kidd tried to pull up jumper, and he has missed his last couple. And until then, Detroit's last field goal was almost six minutes ago. Love the dribble handoffs by New Jersey's big men. Martin had it swatted away by Clifford Robinson. And now Tayshawn Prince looking to push it. Hamilton in traffic, leaves it for Chucky Atkins. Career shot blocker in school history. That's he, tremendous at a school of that caliber. In fact, he got a little too perimeter oriented as a junior and started to move back inside as a senior last year and play better. A shot outside by Richard Hamilton. I love watching guys move, move off screens. Richard Hamilton along the baseline. has got one screen. He's got a, a second one that he runs away from. And then he comes back at it again, never stopping. A quick release. Beautiful team basketball. The slam dunk competition <laughs> at the All-Star game looked pretty good. Tied at 46. Hamilton again. That quick move on the baseline, he has 16. Where's the big guy sliding over to the baseline? I mean, Kenyon Martin guarding Clifford Robinson. You got to slide down to the baseline and help your guy out. During that last time out, Byron Scott, if he had sunglasses on, could be in Matrix Reloaded. He wasn't happy. <laughs> and he's just staring straight ahead into space a little bit before finally walking back to talk to his troops. He's not a happy coach. His team is down five, and he's seen Richard Hamilton score 16 points tonight. Rip Hamilton told David Aldridge going to the locker room of the second quarter. We got to keep pushing it. We have to attack. Fellas, he's attacking. Well, he's the one guy that's been shooting the ball well, and he loves the baseline. Tireless worker running the baseline, waiting for a screen, waiting for an opening. And he's so quick hitting that baseline. All it takes him is one dribble. He's lightning quick. Gets it there. And you see right there, he's the one guy that's shooting well in this series. The rest of the team, 30%. That's not so good. But as a champion level player, he'll never disparage his teammates. He's going to constantly try to bring them along with him. Rip Hamilton, that unique ability to move at a different speed than anyone else. Now they've got a five point lead after scoring seven straight points. You can't shoot fadeaway jumpers over Tayshaun Prince. He is too long and it's too tough a shot. Hamilton again. Got it! But Jason Kidd might want to wait a little bit longer to let Kenny Martin get set for that two-way two -way streak. But, but just come to a jump stop. Hamilton again on the baseline. 20 for Rip Hamilton. And again, it's a 10-point lead. Here comes Detroit. They shot 50% did the Pistons in the third quarter and didn't have a turnover. And Richard. Richard Hamilton just keeps moving at such an assertive pace that nobody can keep up with him. There's some more assertion. 22 for Hamilton. Well, he is something when he goes to that baseline. Detroit has to win this game. If they don't, they have no chance in the series. Statistically, that would 
normally be the case. It is very lopsided in the way of the team taking two straight. Rip Hamilton, he doesn't want it to get to that point. Hamilton with 24. Rip Hamilton has been the man tonight for Detroit. He tried to come up with an assist on the last play. He's got 24 points. He waded his way through the traffic on that one. But the man of the night for the Nets has been Kenyon Martin. 16 of his 25 in this fourth stanza. And he's drawn the Nets even at 83.